Hey, what's going on everybody? In this video, I wanna share with you how to set up your toolpath for carving stars for your rustic flag unions. It's a very simple process and it won't take too long, so let's just go ahead and jump right into it. Jumping into Carb I Create, guys, this example is going to be for a small flag. The union size is gonna be seven by 10, three quarter inch material, and it is softwood, so let's go ahead and click OK, and let's bring in our union. Got my SVG file here for my 50 stars, so I wanna make sure that they're all grouped, so I come over to the transform section and group the vectors. And what I like to do is I like to zoom in here real good. I like my star point to be right underneath or touching this first grid mark. Once I have it there, I then click on the scale option to just resize it. Oops. Click on this, click and hold from this bottom right. And then even though it's a, it doesn't look right, right there, I click on it again and then I'm going to align it center. And so that's still a little bit above my line. So I'm going to reduce the size there. Let's try that. Just repeat the process. And I'm okay with that. Let's just go a little bit further down. Okay. That to me is a lot better. I just don't want this star to carve off of the of the material. I've had that happen before, so I'm kind of weary of that. All right, so now that I have my union set up, let's go ahead and create the tool path. We want to have our vector selected. All these individual stars are vectors, so have those all grouped and selected. We'll click on tool path. We're gonna click on V carve. For my small and medium unions, I like to use 60 that I like to use the 60 degree V bit. Let's select that. Uh, my depth per pass, I usually like 0 0.06, 80, 90 for my plunge and feed rate. I'm going to use stock bottom since it is a V carve. Let's click OK, and let's take a look at that simulation. So it's set to pine, and there we have nice looking stars. So let's go ahead and save this file and send it over to the machine. Something to keep in mind with the dimensions listed below in the description of the video is that it does require a little bit of a final cut at the end after you carve the stars. Maybe about a sixteenth to an eighth inch uh, off the bottom of the union just so that the union can fit correctly with the size of the stripes. So just keep that in mind. This gives you the perfect fit every single time. Alright guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed that video. It was a very quick one this time. So we'll see you on the next one.